white QB who was punished by black teammates for standing for anthem makes stunning admission of what else they did to him. Last Saturday, it was revealed that the Oakland Raiders' offensive line, who are all African American, may have intentionally allowed their quarterback, Derek Carr, their white teammate to get sacked multiple times because he refused to take a knee during the national anthem prior to the Oakland Raiders playing the Washington Redskins. Looking at how the Oakland Raiders played, Derek Carr was sacked four times by the Washington Redskins back-to-back, -back, and last season, with the same offensive line, he was not sacked even once. In addition, the Oakland Raiders center, which is one of the best in the NFL, three times snapped the ball at the wrong time before the quarterback was ready. For a professional center in the NFL this is unheard of. The Armstrong and Giddy radio show was the first to break this story, and during a recent broadcast, they made a very compelling argument. The show claims to have insider information that the Oakland Raiders offensive line did, in fact, throw the game but they have not named their source. Further stoking the flames surrounding the play of the Oakland Raiders' offensive line against the Washington Redskins, a local team reporter attempted to investigate the matter and was met with a severe threat from an Oakland Raiders representative who supposedly said, If you report on this, you will be blackballed, you will not get access to the Raiders' period. Your career covering the team will be over. The Oakland Raiders have not commented on this story, and they likely will avoid doing so at all costs. It was even reported that an unidentified Oakland Raiders player said of Derek Carr, if he wants to stand alone for the national anthem, he can stand alone on the field. It may be hard for fans to comprehend that a pro NFL team would actually throw a game but by examining the play of the Oakland Raiders offensive line recently against the Denver Broncos, the claim they are punishing Derek Carr for standing for the national anthem is gaining credibility. At one point in the Raiders v. Broncos game this week, the game stopped after Derek Carr received a devastating hit and took a knee to the back from Denver Broncos defensive and Adam Gotsis. According to the ringer, Carr stayed down on the field before heading to the blue medical tent on the sideline and eventually the locker room. The Oakland Raiders have not made an official comment yet on Derek Carr's status and any new developments with his injury. Speaking on last week's performance of the Oakland Raiders offensive line, the Armstrong and Giddy radio show said in their broadcast, If this story is true, you've got an animosity between a white quarterback and a black offensive line that you can't fix very easily, they said. Now this is getting into paranoia, and the fan base and the whole country. From the looks of things, this was not a one-time event, and the National Football League needs to investigate these allegations immediately. As the NFL continues to deal with the financial consequences of their players disrespecting the national anthem and the fans, allegations of a team throwing a game is certainly not going to help things improve. Add into the mix that not more than 24 hours after the tragic shooting in Las Vegas, Kansas City Chiefs players Marcus Peters and Uke Melig sat on the bench during the national anthem causing further damage to the NFL and its 97-year history. These self-entitled NFL crybabies are on a collision course with the real world, and are going to see how much power the fans really have. Ratings continue to drop, local bars and restaurants are refusing to show games, and Directive has even provided a lot of refunds to fans who had subscribed to Sunday NFL Ticket. The real test to see where the NFL is will be on Veterans Day, November 12, 2017 as fans all across social media are planning a mass boycott of the NFL to really send a message to Commissioner Roger Goodell and the rest of the league.